All right, brake swap on a C6 Corvette is super easy. The base model brakes come off in three bolts and the Z06 brakes go on just as easily. Everything bolts right up, everything fits right up. It uses the same hubs, the same lugs, all the same pickup points. There's nothing custom required, just a short list of parts. You're gonna need Z06 brake lines, Z06 brake calipers, obviously, Z06 brake pads, Z06 brake rotors, and brake fluid. So that's all you need for hardware to do this swap. For tools, you're gonna need in metric, a 21 millimeter, a nine millimeter, a 13 millimeter, and a 15 millimeter, and a 17 millimeter for the stainless steel lines that I'm using. So all of that will be listed down below in the description and the comprehensive tool list and everything in Imperial units too. So if you do that with the fake numbers, then I got that. Gotcha, I got it, it's cool. It's all right, this, this is America, we, we accept all kinds here. All right, removing the stock brake caliper is easy. It's just a 11 mil bolt right here to loosen the brake line from the caliper. Now, mine already doesn't have brake fluid in it. Yours will be gushing brake fluid everywhere. So take that into account. I'm gonna take that, make sure that you keep a hand on the bolt because you're gonna need that later. It's the only part from this that you reuse. It's gonna come with washers, crush washers, which are now trash because they've been crushed. So that's something you're gonna need. All right. All right, next you're gonna take out the two 21 millimeter bolts holding on the brake caliper. Now these are torqued down to 150 foot pounds with blue Loctite from the factory. So they're on there pretty good. So you're gonna to have to get a pretty good size wrench to get them loose. I definitely recommend taking out the bottom bolt first. That way you don't drop the giant caliper on your foot or have it swing out and hit you in the chin when you're taking loose the lower bolt without the upper bolt in place. Mine are already loose, so I get it easy for the video. Retain these bolts, you will be using them again. And that's it. Removing the stock rotor is also very easy. There will be one or two of these little captive rings that hold it down. Just stick a flathead under there and break that sucker free. There's no way to take it off and retain it. It's trash now. And honestly, the lug nuts hold the uh, rotor on. And it's just as simple as lifting it off and throwing it in the trash. Next, we're going to remove the bracket that holds on the uh, factory soft line, which is never not a pain in the butt to remove. It is always a real turd. There's no way around it. It doesn't want to come up. It's kind of soft metal. And you just got to yank on it till it frees itself. Ta-da! That guy. Then... And pull that loose but it's easiest if you just take a 10 mil and remove this bracket that's out retain all these parts and go ahead and back that off now I'm gonna remove the soft line from the hard line I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter and a 15 millimeter get the 15 on here get the 13 13's a half inch if you use freedom units or whatever non-number based number system. Oh yeah, you can tell it worked because you're going to take the skin off your knuckles. That's how you know it's good. Oh, oh. Now we've got that super awkward. Can't quite get a wrench on it angle going on here. There we go. All right. That's loose. All right. 
prepare to catch some more brake fluid because it's going to leak again. And I don't have any speedy dryer over here, so I'm just going to try and stop the line out fast. Boop! The stock line has this strange box in, which will take a 17 mil or a 15 mil, whichever size that is, I'll put it on the screen. And we just go ahead and install our new stainless line. In my case, in your case, maybe it's a uh, just a Z06 soft rubber line. That's fine. That'll work. I'll do the trick. Just make sure you don't mess up these threads. Because I don't want to do a video on flaring. That doesn't sound like fun. With our handy dandy 13 mil or half inch. And I'm going with... An 18 mil, which isn't quite the right size to be perfectly honest, but it really doesn't matter over much. I'm just snugging this up. It's just a brake line. Doesn't see a ton of torque. Now we're going to go ahead and reattach our bracket. Drops into this little hole right here. Little slot. Boop. Tiny little guy. That goes there just like that. Got myself pretty good. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Oh man, my first time. I'm new. You don't want to hurt that on too much because it's just a threaded hole through an aluminum casting and it'll strip right out. Mine came with new clips because I ordered a aftermarket stainless steel brake line kit, but if you're doing ooh, OEM Z06 soft lines, you can just reuse the old ones. And that's all there is there. The Z06 rotor goes right on. Do, 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 do. And then we'll just use a lug nut to hold it on for the moment, just to keep it centered. Boop. And the Z06 caliper goes on the same way. Stick it up there, thread a bolt in so it doesn't fall down, because it'd be a real bummer. These are heavy and you hurt your foot. There's the hole. And then finally, we'll complete the installation with blue Loctite. That's probably a little much, but you know. And get that in there, get it threaded up. Stick that guy back in there. There it is. Go ahead and snug these guys up. Snug, not torqued. Snug, snug. Take a torque wrench, set it to 150 foot pounds. Tidy. Go ahead and torque these bad boys down.
Make sure you set your torque wrench back down to zero or we'll lose the ability to torque correctly. Nobody wants that. Final step is to take brand new crush washers. You can get them at GM or if you get a aftermarket brake line kit, it'll come with them. One on the inside, one on the outside. Say righty tidy lefty loosey to yourself two or three times. There we go. Trouble finding the hole. And just snug that up. Doesn't need to be hurt on there. And that's all there is. So that's all there is to it. That's Z06 wheels on a base model C6 Corvette. Everything bolts up as long as you have all the parts. It's not a big deal. Now, hopefully, if you're doing this, you've had the pre thought to buy wheels that'll fit and clear the brakes because if you have most base model C6 wheels they won't and Z06 wheels for a large part won't fit in your fenders. So if this is something that you're fighting go ahead and uh, click on the link in the description that'll take you back to the parent video for this video and I will show you how I measured and ordered for spacers to clear my Z06 brakes. Thanks for watching. If this was good uh, Watch some more of my videos. There's buttons down here that you can do that'll tell you when I post videos. Uh, drop me a comment and tell me what you liked, what you hated. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. There's so many things that you can do and everybody on every video asks you to do them. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, I would say that this is probably a three band-aid job. It's not too bad. Like a six pack of beer will do it. So uh, take a shot. This stuff's easy. You can bleed brakes, right? <laughs>